Hey everybody, my name is Langdon, and today I want to share with you a small story. The other night, our family went out for dinner. My dad wanted to order a giant steak, cooked to medium rare, all for himself. My mom overruled and requested it to be well done. Dad protested. Eating a well done steak is like chewing a piece of wood. Mom replied, Honey, eating pink beef increases your chance of getting mad cow disease. You need to stay healthy for the family. Don't be so selfish. Dad cried, All I wanted was a big, juicy steak. Let me just say, that dinner that night was not the most peaceful one in my life. What is mad cow disease anyway? The medical term for mad cow disease is bovine spondiform encephalopathy. In rare cases, humans can get infected from eating contaminated beef and get a variant of the disease called creutzfeldt jakob disease, which is 100% fatal. I have used clay to make two brain models. One is a healthy brain. The other is a brain infected with creutzfeldt jakob disease. Can you tell the difference? Neither can I. But with a microscope, pretending this is one, we can go inside the brain and see the difference. In contrast to healthy brain tissue, the infected brain tissue is much like a sponge and full of small holes. Many brain cells have died. What kills the brain cells are the aggregates of the infectious agents for BSC and CJT. Surprisingly, they are not virus. They are, in fact, protein particles. They were identified and named prions by Dr. Stanley Prusner in 1982. Infectious prion protein is a cellular protein gone awry and trapped in a bad shape. The bad shape is contagious, and the prion protein is like a zombie. It sticks to the normal protein and induces it to refold into the same bad shape, creating a new zombie. The zombie chain grows, breaks into several zombie chains, and continues to spread, killing brain cells in the process. The discovery of prion was groundbreaking because it broke at least three golden rules in biology. 1. All infectious agents have genetic materials. Prions do not. They are just proteins. 2. All proteins are digested and chopped into small pieces in the digestion tract. Prion proteins can escape the digestion intact. 3. A functional protein has only one shape, and the sequence of amino acids constituting the protein decides the shape. A prion protein can have at least two shapes, one good, the other lethal. Prions are hard to get rid of. Heating a steak longer will not kill their activity, so it doesn't matter how well the steak is cooked. The risk of getting CJD is the same, which is extremely low in the US. But if you're still scared, eat tofu instead.